there. I'm Melissa Aldrich from Wahoo High. I am a sophomore. Oh, yes! The title of my poem is Millionaires. <coughs> we were rich. We had the occasional mouse. Mom's apartment was tiny and the carpets were old. My family didn't always eat out or have fancy meals. We had old and worn furniture. We were rich. My family never went on vacations. We never visited any theme parks. I rarely got the newest or the best toys, but I had the best stuffed animal collection. We were rich. Mom and I danced in the living room to 90s and 2000s pop until it hurt. I played outside until I was covered in dirt. Mom and I went to the mall and I would play in the kids area that seemed so big back then. I listened to the bedtime stories that Grandma read from an old worn book. I still remember the story of the tooth fairy and how she made pouches for all of the little children so she wouldn't lose their teeth from under the pillows. We were rich. I helped my family make di dinner every night. Grandma and I watched the birds outside and ate vanilla ice cream cups when it, or with strawberry or chocolate swirls or potato chips when it was late. My grandparents shared stories of earlier times when they lived on a farm and walked to school as I sat beside them. We were rich. The mouse crawled under the stove one night and it startled me. My mom and my uncle tried to catch him, but he still got away. He ran back to his little hole in the back of my mom's closet. I didn't see him much after that. I think he got scared. <laughs> we were rich. Uncle and my mom made a full meal out of the random things we had left, throwing things together like leftover hamburger meat, potatoes, and cheese. Mom and I went swimming in the lake, the side where you didn't have to pay, and we would stay there all day. One time, I felt a fish swim by tickling my toes. On our way home, we'd stop by the little ice cream shop where I'd have a caramel shake or a sprinkled cone. We were rich, and I really loved Christmas because my parents always made sure there were presents under this tree. They would fill stockings with dollar store candy, and one year I got a stuffed sherbet that smelled like strawberries. I still sleep with it sometimes, though its fur is worn, and the only place you still s smell strawberries is under the chin. We would go to my grandma's house and eat a big breakfast with her tradition of egg casserole with a gooey layer of cheese on top and French toast and thick slices. Then the whole distant family would meet at my aunt's for a dinner that seemed endless and more presents. We were rich in rhythm. We had an abundance of love and compassion, and I wouldn't change any of it, even if I could, because my childhood had been pretty good. And if, if memories were a bank, man, we'd be millionaires.